I'm heading home from, doesn't matter, driven further than makes sense, when this car comes towards me, leaves the road, ploughs through a fence, hits a tree this far above ground, then explodes, disintegrates. I pull up. You have to, don't you? Might be me. Could be me mates. I run back, I'm far from certain, just what it is I'll find. While it's not my problem, do not get involved, keeps running through my mind. And the sight I see before me is not one that I'll forget. And the fact I couldn't help at all still fills me with regret. Five, yeah, five. Lane and round the wreck, all gone. I stood there numb. Settling dust and eerie silence, broken by a cry for mum. One survivor, yeah, that's a driver. Makes you wonder, don't it, though? I didn't let on about the others, I, I didn't think he'd want to know. I held him close, but gentle. Ambulance wailing through the night. He's still not asked about his friends, but I, I think he knew all right. I feel I felt his soul departing as he let go his last breath. Please, tell their parents, I'm so sorry. And he passed from life to death. But does I'm so sorry cut it? Nah, it's a piss poor weak excuse for five families that are gutted. Nah, it's not much bloody use. Never ever can they be the same. Though their demeanour's brave, their sense of loss, their sadness, they will carry to their grave. Kids, life is not some kind of game that you switch off or on. Oh sure, you can switch it off all right, just once, and then it's gone forever. Think before you drink or drive and never mix the two. Or well, this story you just heard from me may one day feature you. Forgive me if I've upset some. I see tears, some eyes are red. But I'll take upset any day. It's far preferable to dead.